Why, hello there, stars, and welcome back to Celestial Craft. In between episodes, I got some pretty good sleep, and as I promised, I think it's time to use some of our diamonds. Now, in the last episode, we did a lot. As you can see, our house is now completely decorated. However, there are some details that are missing, which is something that I want to deal with today. We are going to build a big old barn i've decided but before any of that i want to get some obsidian for an enchanting table oh and also probably important to mention but in the last episode we discovered that we have a neighbor sleep so he is probably going to be dragged along on this little mangrove adventure that i want to take him on but anyways we have the first diamond pick of my series one of many probably and I'm going to gather some obsidian with it, but I won't bore you with that. So let's just quickly cut to when I have gathered it. And we're back with 18 obsidian to our name. That is just enough to make both an enchanting table and also a full nether portal. I thought it might be useful to have for when we go on our mangrove quest. Speaking of which, I'm going to go get sleep now. Hello. What's up? I was wondering if you wanted to go on a adventure with me. I want to go to a mangrove swamp, see some frogs, get some wood. And uh, I was thinking we could bring along the llamas. It'll be like a big old nice like trip to get to know each That'd other some fun. more. You know, you know, I, I, I might be done with that. I need to take my mind off a couple things. But also, I'm not very uh, sure how, like, how well this will go. Like, is it, if it's anything like the deep dark, I don't know. Uh, want, no, like, it, it's it's just going to be a lot of travel. And um, there is something I do have that is a little bit like the deep deck, and I will right. temporarily put it over here. So oh, I have God. no idea what our nether is going to look like, but I'm just going to... dimensional travel. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm going to hope that it's good. Hey, oh, that oh, good? Whoa! <gasps> whoa! Oh, that's so good. Let's go. I love more. Do Oh, that's oh, yeah. awesome. What the? Is everything okay there? I'm in a in a forest <laughs> with mushrooms everywhere. I spawned from a new portal. What? A, a, a bit away from our house. I, I see that. Oh, you're just like atop a mushroom. Yeah. Oh, well, that's... I'm coming back. Why, why did that happen? That must be like a I bug no or portal. something. Anyways, I was thinking we suit up these llamas. I don't know what yes. to name, name them. Hell Actually, yeah. this one here looks a bit like a Harold. I'm not sure about this one so? though. Yeah. This one? I'm thinking like 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 a Brian for sure. Yeah! Oh wow, he totally is a Brian. The storage on these llamas is actually like pretty good. They both have nine slots each. I was really worried really? looking at their yeah. HP that um, it wouldn't be great. Okay, um, this is this is where it becomes a little troublesome. <laughs> but it's a little precarious. Uh, I will agree. This is what we're gonna try to do now. Lead them into. Okay. Was... <laughs> he spin. He spins. Spinning. I love him. I'll take Brian. You take Harold. <laughs> Away we go. <laughs> the Lama Brigade. Let's go! <laughs> Look at him! Look at him, he is so awesome. <laughs> These cows aren't safe. These cows are in immediate danger. I just realized I'm writing the- I thought I was in the phone. <laughs> no! No! Stop it, <laughs> Brian! Eat... They keep trying to eat my hair, it's really no, annoying. No! Why is Brian doing- No, he's eating my hat! <laughs> no, that's not for you to munch on. No! A fun fact, actually. Um, did you know that in 1.18, uh, Mojang actually updated the birch forest? So now these really tall birch trees um, yeah, generate. Yeah, I noticed that. Technically, noticed the birch forests were updated. It was just 1.18. Yep, that's all the content you get. Oh! Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is good. This is really good. We actually yeah. needed some of this. I forgot. This is the one wood type we don't have. Oh, is that occasion? That yeah, that's Acacia. Whoa, you're so fast! They can get energetic when they uh, feel like they're going to be left behind. What are you doing? I need, I need bucks. A, a girl's got to do what she's got to... No, I need bucks. Like oh, the... Like bucks, like the bucks. <laughs> Stop making Fortnite cannon to Celestial Crap. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make a bucket. I, I want powdered snow. We'll be back. 
Love yous. We're leaving them there to die, right? <laughs> oh, there's goats! Oh, we could get goat horns! Goats. No, they can only get up if they are lame. You only leave here once you give us your horns. How about yeah. That? Yeah. How, how do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? You silly... Whoa! <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? And then they oh, no! Ow! No! Are you serious? <gasps> Ow! God, they there's both. No sh there's two chances, and we both. I look away for like one second, and they do it. They there suck. Was two of them that did it. I'm gonna murder you if you look at me like that. You. Why? Right, Keep going. Next one. Next one who tries that. I got it! Did you get it? <gasps> Yo! Well, what if we get a second one? For, for me. You can have the horn. I don't even care. I already have one. Just wait, they'll do it. They'll do it. Five minutes, Mom, please. Five more minutes with the goat, please. Uh, my, um... My you see, I'm cracked. I'm cracked. The, the, this goat is bald now. <laughs> you look so dumb! <laughs> These stupid goats. We're gonna... Laugh at them as we patrol our way in. And I'm gonna murder their cousins! Is Ooh. that it? No. No. Wait. Or, or is it? Is it? Is it? I can't. Wait, I think it is. What is the. Is it? I can't tell. No. Oh, it is. No. it is! no, it is! Oh my god. Oh, wow! <laughs> okay, we're finally here. I've never been in one before. Oh, okay. it this sounds disgusting cool. when you. <laughs> it's so, so gross. <laughs> Holy moly. This farm looks crazy. Like, I mistook this as a jungle when we're approaching it. Let me... Glow stick. Oh, you can. You can. Oh, that's awesome. What? You can get the roots. You can just break them with your fist. Oh, do, do they drop with the... Yeah. Oh, dang. Okay, cool. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, my first oh, mangrove yeah. wood. This is going to be the first time I ever pick up mangrove in survival. Oh, yeah, I yeah. wanted to find frogs. It's really bad. Or tadpoles. Yeah, frogs are tadpoles. This is like genuinely like really beautiful. I I'm loving this biome. Oh, well, you know what this means. Hey, yeah. okay, we needed this. Stomp forest fires. Smokey the bear taught me. In your video, I saw you struggle <laughs> with making one. With making a portal. No, I'm a pro. I'm a seasoned veteran. I will teach you properly how to do a portal. I don't have a bucket of water. I need yours. We just need this. A block out like that. Okay. Put it on the side, break that, break that. You put like three right here on either side. One overhanging like an upside down L. Oh, like that. that's why and I was thinking about an L. And then you just build it. You and make it look so easy. I hate it. <laughs> it is very easy. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> uh, you're gonna see something really cursed. I apologize. <gasps> I didn't think how gross I attached to them this quickly, but one adventure and it's like, yeah, they're cool. Here we go. Woo! Yippee! Oh! There it is. Woo! Holy moly. That was... Yeah. At last. Does this link up to that, like, one scuffed portal though? Okay, no, it links up to the scuffed portal for some reason. Well, do you want to... Start transporting. I seen a stronghold. Or uh, what's it called? A nether fortress. A fortress. And, yeah, do you wanna go raid that? Uh, yeah. Minor problem is uh getting down there. Um No Oh why are you cracked? Put on your boots, you don't have them? No. Nah. You are trolling. Uh, well it's myth bust, myth bust right now. Oh. Ooh, here we go. Terrible fortress. Indeed it is. So, there's two things that I need here. Nether ward? Okay, well, that's, um... <laughs> that was That was fast. <gasps> Please! Stay away. No. I'm no? You're fighting <gasps> it? <gasps> Please! I seen that! I seen that! What? So why did you do so much damage? I so avenged weird. you. Okay... Is there anything I missed? No clue, but I mean, I don't know this anything. Oh, this is what we're looking for. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> you can yeah. get your achievement. I want the achievement. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh! 
Let's get out of here. I thought that was a gold block. It was a skeleton and gold armor. Yeah, we have everything uh, we've come for. Okay. So. I don't have my pickaxe broke. Could I have yours if you're gonna do that? Oh my goodness. Right, now that we've deposited some of the stuff from the nether fortress, we are going to go back and get the llamas. Yes, the llamas. I need them. Hopefully they're still safe. They'll be fine in the mangrove swamp. What I'm worried about is transporting them through this, <laughs> like, very narrow, rickety bridge. All the little beasties. Yeah. All the little creatures. Oh, no. It's going to be so terrible to get them. You're I'm out of dying. food already. Yeah. You suck. Oh, my God. I'm old and brittle. <laughs> At the age of 87. Don't question. I'm gonna put you in a mental hospital, bro. Don't question <laughs> elf lifespan. Don't question it. That's that's old. Goodness, this looks awful. There's so many. At least the Although llamas. That area right there would be good for frogs. It would like, be, be actually. Frog. Let's just hurry and grab them. Nope. <laughs> 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 You guide them and I'll just like clear the path probably. I think yeah, that the, sounds like a plan. Here. Although, first job of the day, there was kind of lava surrounding the portal. What if these beauties them. like... You're useless. You know, you're good for nothing. <laughs> oh, babies, it'll be okay. The big brave spleep will fend off the mobs of the night. Dodge all these little skeleton archers. From all, the, all the little... The, <laughs> no! What? No! Let me see. Sleep! What? What? Sleep. <gasps> what the f No! No, no, no! Is he okay? <gasps> He's good. Yeah? He's good. Oh my god, he's stuck down there. I have a lead still. Okay. You have a lead. Get him. Get him. I have Please. A lead. Oh, you're mine. How are you? Okay, you're perfectly fine. Oh, he's All full right. HP? No, it's minus three hearts, which isn't okay, bad. That's... Considering got direct blasted by a gas. Yeah, so considering. Right, oh my goodness, you brave Congo. little soldier. Oh my gosh, okay. That was really terrifying. Yeah, no, I, I'm i like actually in love with these llamas. I can't even like bear the thought of them like, think dying. Can you think about the possibility? At this stage, like after everything we've been through, it's only been an episode and like I think I would cry. <laughs> <laughs> Could you like place some like scaffolding blocks and I'm worried oh. that they may fall off the cliff. Okay, I understand what you're trying to say. I swear. <laughs> Be really careful, guys. Okay, they're fine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, little one. Out of the way. Very important people coming through. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <gasps> now we're gonna need to travel them across this like oh awkward thing. We're definitely probably gonna fix this off camera. Everyone yeah, we are like, definitely it's very, fixing this. Oh, it's camera, very annoying. This sucks. They're, They're home. home. They're home at last. They're home. We also had like supplies in them. The relief. Oh yeah, I got you. I got you a gas tier. Oh. Oh go. yeah, with all the blaze rods that we gathered in the Nether, this is going to be a big help. Regen potions are the biggest pain. I'll probably need to make <gasps> a farm. You can eventually. heal them, the babies, dude. I think they're probably they're already healed. They they, they Wait, just what? natural regen it. <laughs> really? Yeah, they natural I didn't know regen. We could do that. Yeah, no, they are very very mighty creatures. Yo, Spleef, could I talk to you about something real quick? Since we, like, share the land, the real estate of this area, I was wondering if it would be okay if I built a barn over here. Yeah, we could store the llamas, this little sheepy here, and uh, okay. we'll breed them up, and then we'll actually have a reliable source of food, because we are very hungry. We are starving. We, we almost starved, I think, like, three times during this entire time. Yeah. So, yeah, that, I'm, I'm all for that, actually. <laughs> Okay, so you're fine with me kind of like sullying a bit of the view here, like leveling up the land? Yeah, just to... yeah, sure. Okay, cool, cool. Right, uh, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing, but um, I'll, uh, it'll take me a while, so I'm gonna go back to my house now. Alright. Uh, do some enchanting and yeah, get some gear ready. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. I need to start grinding because I got a mission in my brain right now. Whew. And after all of that fuss, we have finally managed to get some mangrove wood sleep, and we also got some nether wood. Uh, there's some blaze rods upstairs. I put it in my personal chest. 
and most importantly of all, this enchanting table. So, for today's build, I actually need Silk Touch, and I was fortunate enough to find this gold axe, so I thought that maybe we do some low-level enchanting for the meantime to just get a little bit of a feel. <laughs> we got the enchanter achievement. Uh, what we are looking for specifically here is an axe that will give us a decent level of unbreaking. And we're just gonna... Okay, that's not terrible. Ooh, that's a really good one. Ooh, I'm liking this. Talk about an upgrade. Holy moly. So, unfortunately, we didn't get the enchantments we wanted for the axe. Uh, since it's a gold axe, it's kind of really necessary that we get unbreaking, so... I think I'm just gonna wander around, find some cows, and make a few more buckshells to try get those higher enchants and to get our levels up, and then I'll be right back with you. So I was walking around in this dark oak forest looking for cows, and uh, it hasn't been very lucrative, but I did find this, which I think is significantly more valuable. However, I'm not gonna rate it now, but just so you know, it's here, and I will probably be rating it with Spleef sometime. Probably not the next episode, because ooh, those things are scary, especially when the server's in hard mode. But yeah, we, it definitely will be a thing that we do. So, change of plans. I couldn't exactly find um, many mobs, so I've realized something that... You can actually insta-mine the Skulk with Pose. Luckily for me, they also give quite a lot of XP early game. I mean, just look at that. We're getting so much. So I'm going to keep venturing down this cave and hopefully gather enough XP for my enchanting endeavors. No way. No way. You can... Why? This is not the same city as the one you've seen in episode 2. This is a completely different city. We have most of what we came for, which is levels. Although maybe, just maybe, we could get a silk touch hoe in, in one of these chests. I'm not going to raid too much of this place because I don't want to die, but yeah. Ooh, sneaky. Okay, I think that means... Yeah, I'm in the clear, and I got absolute garbage. Oh, okay, now this is what we do actually need. We needed so many books for a little bookshelf project, so we're going to be able to get some higher level enchants with this. Okay, if you remember in the last episode, this structure is actually booby-trapped. As you can see, there's pressure plates here, so we're going to need to, like, figure out a way around these. Okay, so unless there's a really devious shrieker down here, we're in the clear. Okay, we're good. And we got absolute trash. Ooh, okay, now this this one will serve as a problem. Walk this one off here, and then destroy this. Ooh, yeah, and it can notify this one. Okay. Oh, holy moly. Other side, the rarest disc in the game. <gasps> the chest. And there's no shriekers around the chest. My, my jaw just dropped. In my three years of religiously playing this game, would you believe it that this is the first time I have found an enchanted golden apple in vanilla Minecraft? That is crazy. Also, we have enough to make the new disc, more echo shards, yeah, this is a really good chest. I think we call it quits here. We didn't get the silk touch hoe that we wanted, but this is some pretty fine loot. Ah, on second thought, I really want a silk touch thing. So let's just open up one chest for good luck. Don't check. I was being so reckless as well. It didn't even trigger anything. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? Well, that's just perfect. I am the world's luckiest Minecraft player today, I guess. And look at that, we almost have 30 levels as well for an enchant. Not to mention we're coming out of here with so many bucks, we're gonna be able to add a lot to our bookshelves. And who knows, hopefully we'll be able to get level 30 enchants and we can try get something good on our pickaxe by the end of the episode. All right, and after that, 
crazy unplanned adventure. I am finally back home and Spleep is around here somewhere. I gotta brag. Up oh, there he is. Yo. Yo, Spleep. You, why are you so shiny? Check it. Dude. No, no. Okay, okay. I, I do have I do have a bit of a gift for you though. I think oh. you'll like it a lot. <gasps> Other side! Let's yeah! go! Wait, we need to jam out to this real quick before I get started on my stuff. Are you ready? Whoa. Yes. This is so cool. I've actually never heard like a uh, other side disc in survival. I've always it's ever. awesome. Oh, the B drop out to go crazy. Wait for it. Yeah, I'll talk to you. <laughs> we both got okay. some to get through. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go capture some frogs. Oh, okay. You you go enjoy that. <laughs> Thankfully, Sleep liked this gift, and I was doing a little bit of renovating off camera, and we now have 50% of our bookshelf complete thanks to the books we found in the deep dark. However, that is enough for level 30 in chance, which means I am going to try get a good level 30 pickaxe. Now, efficiency for, you know what, I'll take it. And that is what I'm talking about. Holy moly, we are going to get super rich fortune three and unbreaking three. Oh, I'm so delighted. Oh my goodness, this is gonna allow us to probably get diamond in the next episode. That is awesome. Anyways, with this really fantastic pickaxe, I think it is finally time do some off-camera grinding so i am going to get some materials for a build and i will be right back to real this time i'm not gonna get up to any adventures off camera wait 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 wait! and i'm done grinding so um inside we have a lot of materials now uh this is why i needed the silk touch to get all these red mushroom blocks and then a lot of mangrove and you may think that mangrove would be pretty easy, like that looks relatively pitiful, but unfortunately that actually made me lose my mind harvesting. That took almost two hours to get, but uh, in that time I also got some XP. I have a pretty decent axe now and a shovel that will hopefully do the job. But before we get into this time lapse, I want to give a quick shout out to all the wonderful fan art that we got from last episode. It really warmed me in Sleep's heart to get so many absolutely fantastic pieces. And I am super glad that you guys are enjoying some of the more non-conventional elements, let's just say, of the series. I greatly appreciate it so much. Hashtag Celestial Craft and hashtag Celestial Craft Fan Art on Twitter. So definitely keep it going. It keeps me and Sleep super duper motivated. But anyways, that's enough talk. Without a further ado, I think it's time for a time lapse. was an absolutely humongous time lapse. That was seven hours of gameplay condensed down to your viewing pleasure. And as you can see, we have some of the animals in here already. 
And we also got some animals off camera. I'm not sure if you noticed, but the sheep that I got aside kind of blew up just a little bit. But yeah, we did all of this thanks to the help of Spleep, who should be around here somewhere. I think he's in his house, maybe. Hey, Spleep. Hey. Big builds, big things. I want to show you, introduce you to my build. That I'm sure you've already seen it complete, but just to show you its full and final glory is the amazing Spleep Frog Pond. You know, beautiful. It looks like the, the vines grew a bunch. I absolutely adore it. It's like a really cute atmospheric build. If you notice uh, around the area, or I guess not there, but there, there's a little <laughs> frog in the chest boat. Oh, there he is. Yeah. There's the other little froggy. He's just there chilling he is. He's under hiding. the lily pad. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a little piece of the mangrove here in our little mountainside, which I utterly adore. I was thinking that um, actually a piece of this build, I could have the windmill uh, maybe extrude some water and have like a little makeshift lake that splits off yeah, and feeds really into cool. there. Let's, Let's address the elephant in the room. Look so, at this huge build. Off camera, me and Spleef were also doing a little bit more extra work and we now have <laughs> this big, lovely, sprawling crop to feed yes. all the animals. And if you come inside, you will see Boy. that we found two sheep. There was yeah. Brownie here who Spleep uh, said he's seen before. <laughs> and... I've seen this thing before. I've, I've, I know it quite well. Yeah, and do you have any wheat on you, Spleep? No. Okay, let's go get some wheat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we All have right. wheat now. Uh, now and we can breed our first ever sheep. Oh my gosh. I'm going to call this one vanilla. And Ah, oh, another brownie. We've been breeding a lot of cows off camera. <laughs> we are not going hungry anymore. I refuse to go yeah, hungry. Yeah, no. Like, <laughs> after this but, last episode, we are not doing that anymore. Yeah, no, it was uh, very painful building this on like short food supply. I had like a little temporary crop. And as you can see, we have this little extended like stables area we have harold yeah. and brian in here we got to get some name tags for these two eventually we do we do and um, if you come up here with me what will be an auto wall generator it's going to yes. be in the tower it's not yet functional unfortunately but i'm probably going to work on that in between episodes so you guys won't need to worry your butt about that finally we have this little segment uh, up here. We the just have bunny the pit. little bunny pit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, breed up some of the bunnies there and uh, yeah, do some multiplication, which bunnies are good at, apparently. I, lo I love this whole barn. It's just so cute. Yeah, it's no, it's a good way to have all of our animals in one place. But yeah, we got some cool builds going. We finally had this expansive barn. Yeah. Um, definitely, definitely my build that took an equal amount of time right over there. Yep, definitely and, uh, didn't spend several days and an episode <laughs> delay on this one. But don't yeah. question why this one took three weeks instead of two weeks. Our world looks beautiful, like much more beautiful now, I feel. It's you, starting to come together. Here. If we come over to this mountain, we can actually get a really good view of it. Oh, yeah. Look at this hilltop view. You got all wow. three of the signature builds with like your little mangrove bit really padding out. And I feel like if we start adding like more scenery pieces like that, it will really yeah. tie this area together and make it start feeling like an entire village. It's going to be a ride, a really fun time. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. With all of that said, I think we've done quite enough this episode. So <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go back to the barn and admire it one last time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, oh. sleep. See ya. So anyways, with all that being said, I hope you loved today's build because I put so much care into it. It took me so long to build, like I said, seven hours of raw gameplay to get this bad boy done. It is pretty hard when you just have iron and basic diamond enchants. But with all of that being said, if you enjoyed the build today, please press a like and don't forget to check out Spleef's video. It'll be linked in the card at the end. And with all of that being said, I'll see you next time.